Sprite, PayPal, and Fluid Forms. So, um, uh, st uh, sorry, it's Stripe and Ideal. I want to show you how you can uh, pay with Ideal for all our uh, subscribers in the Netherlands. Uh, so uh, this is uh, the example. And when you are going to the preview of this form, then we can see that we can embed, of course, the name. And then they can uh, subscribe or pay. But in this case, it's not so important, it's just uh, a demo. And when you are clicking on the button, then you will be redirected. And then you can select the bank. And then you can uh, go to pay with IDU. So a very clear, simple. And let's see. Uh, we can leave this website and let's see what we have done with the pay methods. So you select the pay methods and then you can see here that it's a cre uh, credit debit card of Stripe. And when you uh, are choosing embed checkout, then something else will happen. So we have disabled it for the IDO, but when we able it and we're going to preview the it once again, then it's asking you for your credit cards. So uh, when you want to uh, fill it in, then the form will ask for the credit cards. But we want to let it be the ideal. So uh, the payments methods, and then we are going to disable this checkbox. And of course, uh, you can uh, use uh, the integration and the payment fields, and then you have uh, the payment methods. So then you have to drag, drag and drop it in here. And then, uh, of course, you can uh, make a subs uh, subscription or um, not a subscription. With Idle, you can only let people pay once. So you can't use it for a subscription. Um, if you go into the settings in the integrations, then the first thing that you have to do is, of course, able uh, the payments plugin or the integration. And once you have done that, uh, then you go to the payments settings. And when you want to uh, collect money with Idle, you must uh, be sure that it is the euro. And then in this field, you have to choose for the Idle. But this field will not appear when you are in the editor and you don't have the payment methods. So uh, let's just leave this and let's confirm that and save the form. And then when we are going back, then you see nothing. So there is no payment option. So uh, let's just put it back and we are going to the payment fields and the payments methods and we are adding it and with PayPal, uh, sorry with Stripe of course, and then disable this one and save the form once again and we are back to basic. Now, um, when you want to uh, connects with Stripe, um, then you go into the um, payments. Oh no, this is uh, when when uh, when somebody pay you, then, then you can see that it's pending because I've uh, canceled it. But um, this is uh, where you can see everything. Uh, so the global settings, then you can go to the payment settings. And when you are on the payment settings, then you have to choose the, uh, you have to able the payments. And then you have to go to the currency and that must be a euro when you want to use I do. Otherwise it won't work. And then the payment methods. And 
when you are here then you can see you can choose the live and the test modes so you can also enable the test modes but you have to activate it both so the test and the live modes and the other thing that you have to do is um, connect with your stripe accounts and once you are in the stripe accounts then you have to enable the webhook so uh, here you embed the webhook and then you uh, must adding some uh, events so you have to copy this and when you are copying this of course i'm gonna delete this webhook um, then you can uh, edit another one and once you have done that so when you are going to the webhooks um, and don't forget that you have a test mode and a live mode. If you are uh, mixing it, then it won't work. You must be sure that you use the live and the test mode. And then you have embedded the uh, correct web uh, hook. So uh, when you are uh, changing it, when you have the live web hook and you change it for uh, the test web hook, then everything won't be uh, nothing will be working so um yeah that was it it's uh, very simple so um you can make a webhook then paste it uh sorry this was the webhook and you copy it and then you go into the dashboard and you paste it and what you have to do then is go to the advanced and you have to copy all those things here and just paste it in here in the search bar and then you have to enable it and then you do it with this one and all the other ones you copy it and you paste it in here and you enable it and once you have done it with all those uh, advanced advanced then you have to click on the blue button and you have to click once again to save all the whole thing and once you've done that then you are ready to go so um yeah that was it and uh, later on i'm gonna show you how you can make uh, custom post types and you can, can make a form with the custom post types so uh, when you are here then you can use the custom post types but you must first you must activate it so um, you activate the custom post types and then you are going to all forms and you adding a new one and then you can choose for the uh, create a uh, post form so that will be later on and i see you all guys in the next tutorial